so I started thinking about that campaign and the tenets of it and how he was able to use technology, how he was able to use social media to amplify voices and to engage more people, to give them more choices of engagement, and how we can use those cultural values, the framework of that engagement, and the new technology that exists, particularly social media, and how we cannot use that to get elected, but how can we use that to govern more effectively. And that's what brought me in our process to interview about 68 people all over the country. I started with President, former President Clinton and former Vice President Al Gore. It was easy for me to find Al Gore because I was working in current TV, a little TV show, so he was upstairs. And he was doing the reinvent government work back in the early 1990s uh, for President Clinton. And I asked the Vice President, if you were going to do reinvent government for the 21st century with all these tools and technology, what would it look like? And from that process, I reached out and met with technology leaders, Shell Sandberg, uh, Biz and Evan over Twitter, you name it, reached across the divide, Republicans, Democrats, all across the country, and started to reconcile, recognize some common things. The fundamental theme is this, that it's the end of the world as I've known it, that the industrial economy has completely run out of gas. That think of government as a platform, where government could be big on what? Let's solve the big issues of ignorance, poverty, and disease, but as my friend Eric Lewis says, small on how. Less prescriptive on how we solve those problems. Be a convener. Be a conduit. It's not command and control. It's coordinate and cultivate. It's not inside out, the old industrial model, but it's outside in, doing things with you, not to you. Active, not inert citizenship. Active participation in the life of your city, your county, our state, our nation, and the world you want to build. True citizenship in the tradition in which this country was founded. So my book is called Citizen Bill, How to Take the Town Square Digital and Reinvent Government. And the whole riff is farm bill, right? I mean, this idea, and I just think that's food for thought, and I offer that up for your consideration, for those of you that really want to get into politics to change the world. Is that really what you think you need to do to change the world? Or are there other ways of addressing your desire to make a difference and have an impact? So that's what my book's about. It's available on Kindle. And, <laughs> and I'm always available to come over and sign it if you'd like. I'm trying, as I say, sell a damn thing. Uh, but that's what I've been spending a little bit of time on as your lieutenant governor. Not a lot, just a little. And so I open that, uh, I open up with those considerations. And for those of you who came here and had no interest whatsoever in anything I just said, and we're not here to be plugged on a book, uh, but here to talk about your tuition increases or other things we're doing to you as a member of the UC Regents and the CSU Board of Trustees, whatever else is on your mind, this is my favorite part, listening to you and have a chance to talk about Thank you guys very much.